Hello everyone, this is Sam from the Tiki Studios. In this video, I want to show you how to add rain effects into your image. So I googled city and found this image. Right click, copy image, open Photoshop, create new documents. It is the clipboard size, so just create and press Ctrl or Command V or go to the edit menu and paste. This is sunny day. So it is totally different mood with rainy. To adjust it to get closer, I duplicate my layer and right click convert it to smart object. Now I will make this image darker. So you go to the image adjustment, you could use exposure, curve levels or brightness and contrast. I will use curve for now. Decrease the lighten, even some parts here. All right. It is acceptable. I don't want to make it too dark. Okay. If you're using Photoshop CC 2021, we have a new feature. It is sky replacement go to the edit menu and choose sky replacement that is helping to you to change the sky or better to say will assist you to make a mask for the sky if you have earlier version you could do that manually i could choose some kind of overcast sky i think only options here it's this no worry just make sure you set output to new layer i usually just using this technique to have the mask for now it is fine so collapse it all right i want to make this image overall tone of color mood to cold so go to image adjustment and choose color balance for mid-tone making bluish for shadows more blue not too much but something like that that is acceptable and for highlight also a bit more cyan okay so here it is anytime if you like change it is simple just double click on the adjustment name and readjust it and to creating raindrop, of course, there are many ways to do that. I will show you a simple way. Create a new document, maybe something like 3000 by 3000. It is fine. Okay. I make the background color black. So press D from your keyboard or select default foreground background. Press Alt or Option Delete to make background color pure black create new layer i'm going to filter noise add noise as you see it is not working on empty layer so you have to fill layer so again i press ctrl or command delete or backspace it doesn't matter white or black again filter noise add noise we don't need color information so check monochromatic Gaussian and uniform not so different here too. I will make something like that. I saw some people immediately using motion blur for that. This is not cool honestly and not realistic. To generate particles, we need much more distance and increase the size. Again, we have different techniques to that. I could go to the filter, blur and Gaussian blur, blur it a bit, maybe something like that, it is fine, 2.5, and now go to image, adjustment, threshold, as you see we don't have any specific particles here, but by moving the slider to the left you will see it is generating. And also it is useful for a lot of situations like even generating snow and a lot of other useful situations. 
So I try to make first smaller dots for bar, or you could just make it something like that. All right. Now, still, I won't use motion blur because if you do that, as you see, they will too blurred it out. So instead of that, I'm going to the filter, stylized and wind. Direction is not so important, but you could choose method between wind and blast. And for smaller values, usually you could set on the stagger. Check which one is gonna work fine. I think here wind it is fine. Okay. To repeat that, go to the filter menu. If you have older version than CC, the shortcut is Control or Command F. In Photoshop CC, for repeat last filter, it is Alt Control or Option Command F. So I do repeat Control Alt or Command Option F. I think that's fine. And now filter, blur, motion blur. Okay, set the value you like. Note that if your density it is too much, still you could go to image, adjustment, and levels, and decrease the density. You see? So nothing to worry. All right, maybe repeat last filter. Okay, now press Ctrl or Command T, hold on the Shift key and rotate it. We don't need that raindrops too straight, so rotate it a bit. Hold on the Alt Shift or Option Shift on Mac and make it bigger. All right, I duplicate the layer. Set blending mode to screen, do not set on lighten. Control or command T again. Oops. Control or command T and make a bit variation. I think our rain are too dense. So I will make it less for here and for here. Even the place maybe is not too fine. All right, still too much. And of course you could reduce the opacity. Even more variation for here. Hold on the Alter Option key and drag to make more variation. Okay. Make it larger a bit or even smaller, depend on you. Okay, and decrease opacity again. All right. Merge all layers together. To do that, go to the layer. Flatten or merge visible or press shift control or shift command E and simply drag it into your city image. Okay, I will move it up and set the blending mode to screen. As you see, immediately we have raindrop. Press control or command T. To see your transformation boundary, press control or command zero. Or go to the view menu, fit on the screen, and hold on the Alt Shift or Option Shift on Mac. All right, I think this is fine. And to make more realistic, we need more add depth. To do that, I duplicate the layer, press Ctrl or Command T, hold on the Alt Shift and make the smaller, much smaller, about quarter. All right. Even more variation. Hold on the Alt or Option and drag. And again, 
and again okay press ctrl or command e to merge all these together i could duplicate it again ctrl or command t make it again smaller and all right and here okay and here all right control or command e so check here this is the background depth this is middle this is front and you could of course decrease the opacity based on the distance and I will duplicate this layer again to make a larger one, much larger. And note that when your raindrops are closer, so you could apply more motion blur. So I go to the filter, blur and motion blur. And check before, after, not much. All right. Maybe the angle is not so fine. Okay. And you could add more and more. Okay. Note that usually when we have a heavy raining, we have a splash back. So to do that, I could create a splash back. Something like, yes, maybe this layer. I will duplicate it. Allow me to move it up and temporarily set on normal okay see uh, i think this is not good one maybe this one the original one all right press ctrl or command t hold on the alt shift and make it smaller and you could now make it shorter and Find the edges and surfaces. Hold on the control alt shift or shift command option on Mac. All right. I could duplicate it by press control or command J, control T, and make it more, even something like that. All right. I merge these layers together using a razor very soft and less flow allow me to check yes this is my layer oops it is too intense 25 enough still too intense okay something like that this is ideal for our splashback so hold on the alt or option to get out of isolation hold on the alt and shift to drag it and make more splashback all right for other surfaces like ground i could do that check here you could make more variations and depth all right and maybe even here okay i hold on the alt and shift again and this time i want to make it more stronger and visible for the bicycle maybe here make it shorter hold on the control alt shift or command option shift on mac and much wider and we could use warp to make it even more splashed okay maybe it is not so visible so press ctrl or command j for several times you see it is much more visible now ctrl or command e to merge them all together now it is much more visible and i could just simply remove top part and middle part of it 
all right maybe more angle to the back side i don't know less opacity hold on the alt shift for here too you see before and after something maybe like that also we could use that for the sky so i duplicate this layer oops hold on the alt shift ctrl t to transform and start to, to adding especially for his head all right Control alt shift and we could make it even more curved if it is stronger you could duplicate in the same place or hold on the alt or option and drag it Control t make it smaller Control k maybe Control j for getting stronger you see this is for head you could use a razor to remove some parts if you don't like and i could duplicate that again for any part you like if you add more details of course it's gonna get more realistic so i duplicate for a couple of times and control or command t rotate it Maybe some parts like here, use warp. I could add any grid if I like. Something like here and also here. All right. Set it up. Oops. Grab the point. And maybe something like that it is fine use your razor to remove you could make it stronger and remove any part you don't like you see simply we changed this image to rainy mood for the last step we could add some mist into our scene it is very simple we could find on internet or just use some simple fakes one like create a new layer i fill with any color you like fill it with any color you like go to the filter noise add noise and maybe something like that filter blur gaussian blur this time we make it much bigger and you could of course make it more contrasty okay any type you like it doesn't matter and set the blending mode something like screen or lighten decrease the opacity and note that because we have depth here so instead of that i could increase the opacity creating mask and slowly start using with brush maybe much less value for flow start to removing level by level you see this is much less less and slowly getting more and more all right for front okay and now we could decrease the overall opacity okay before and after and for the final i could just simply make a solid color uh highly saturated blue add something like multiply or better use overlay and decrease opacity 
or even you could add photo filter adjustment, set on color for blending, and use some cold or cooling, like maybe uh, blue or deep blue, depend on you and set the values. So this is before and this is after. And for the final adjustment, note that because your camera is close here and the raindrops when closer to your camera will have much more blurness, especially in motion blur, and the top part have less. So choose all your raindrops. All right, except this. Press Ctrl or Command G to make it the group. I prefer to make it as a smart layer. And of course, you could set again on a screen. You could decrease opacity anytime you like. But go to the filter. And if you're using Photoshop CC, blur gallery and use Tilt Shift. Now here we have the core buffer and the final so move that to top from here maybe here and i'm expanding to something like there you could adjust the blurness value from here or here so as you see this is something like gradient blur not regular uniform Okay, so this is before and this is after. You see the bottom side, it is much more blurred. Okay, and of course, it is much more realistic. You see here, before, after. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel and hit the like button. See you in next video.